Hi everyone, so today we are going to present on a journal article titled Psychological Preparation for Peak Performance in Sports Competition. The Introduction Sports psychology plays an important role for psychological preparation of an athlete to achieve peak performance. So what is peak performance? Peak performance is defined as a point when somebody is best and most successful when performing a task. Therefore, in order for the athlete to attain peak performance, they need to integrate both mental and physical aspects of the performance. And also, entering the competition with a proper mindset can help them to get optimal performance. Having the knowledge of sports psychology is very important for the coaches. Why? Well, because this could help them understand the psychological impact of their coaching behaviour and decisions made on the athletes. The coaches can also incorporate information from the sports psychology to be implemented into the athlete's preparation for competition to achieve peak performance. According to Ikulayo, psychological factors must be considered to achieve peak performance. Some of the factors are personal factors, motivational factors and mental factors. All these three factors shall be discussed more later on. So, all of these factors must interact positively to achieve sporting excellence mentally, physically and emotionally. The Determinants of Sports Psychology Therapy One of it is personal factors. Bailey describes personality as the unique blend of the psychological characteristic and behavioural tendencies that make individuals different and similar to each other. Aside from that, and she'll also describe personalities as traits possessed by an individual that are enduring and stable. Well, as the personal factors can also be referred to the personality of the athletes, researchers have came up with various problem statements to this case. Some of them are, do athletes differ from non-athletes? Can athlete from certain sport is identified on the basis of their personality? Or, is it possible to predict the success of an athlete based on personality characteristics? According to Wiss and Butcher, they said that research findings have revealed contradictory answers. Therefore, the personality factors relate to the individual athletes or pertains to his attitude, intelligence, emotional state, interest and sociability. This also involves the physical ability and skills attained by the athletes also includes the neuromuscular activities and the athlete's ability to cope with the work and fatigue. If these factors are well developed, it could be manipulated to produce excellent results for the athlete's peak performance. Next, we go on to the motivational factors. There are three categories under these, mo- under these factors. First is anxiety and arousal. Arousal level must be stable, which means it cannot be too high or too low, because either one, it could give a negative impact on the performance. And there are also techniques for the athletes to be able to achieve optimal arousal level. So some of them, they could listen to pep talks, they could use motivational slogans and billboards, relaxation training, Imagery, which means they shall imagine what they want to do, what should be in the future. And also professional service of sports psychologists. Next is attention. Individual performance is greatly influenced by his or her attention to the task, which means the individuals must locate, select and focus on relevant cues to be successful in performing the task. In which this case, the athlete must know their aim, their goal, during the competition, during the sports they are playing, so they could achieve their peak performance. Well, to be successful, an individual must match their attention focus with the task demands, which are often changes as the performance progress. Last is the goal setting. Motivational strategy and a strategy to change behaviour or enhance performance are important. The intervention strategy to rectify problems or redirect efforts 
and there are three types of it. It is for outcome goals, which focuses on interpersonal comparisons and the end result of an event, performance goal, individual's actual performance in relation to personal levels of achievement, and also process goals, focus on how a particular skill is performed, improved of a, te- of a technique. The last factor is environmental factors, which this directly relates to the competitive situation and are external to the athletes, which means these factors are something that the athletes cannot control, which is beyond their control. So, one of them, some of them are availability of team sports, geographic restriction, sporting body organisation structure, the crowd, and also the attitude of teammate and coach. Aside from that, the social environment are also under the environmental factors, which consisting of the family expectations, peer pressure, socialization, and also the team size. Having a positive environment could produce high quality performance, while negative factors can just create problems for the athletes to perform well. Thus, the conclusion is that Every athlete is unique due to his or her individual characteristics that are different from others. Thus, they shall be treated differently in the sports psychologist field. So this is why sports psychologists studying and assessing sports situation so, they, so that they could come out with solutions associated with the changes in the athlete's environment. It is also the sports psychologist's role for them to shape the athlete's attitude to its positive orientation so they could achieve more and more optimal performance in their sports. Thus, there are a few recommendations for the psychological preparation for the athletes to achieve their peak performance. Some of them are, there should be interventions involving stress, stress management techniques coping strategies, and mobilization of social support through education. The athletes also should be advised to practice mental and psychological training. So this shown that physical training or skill training is not enough. They need to prepare their mentals too so that they could perform well in the sport. Next, the athletes must develop enough concentration to avoid any external distraction that could affect their performance. And also, foster rehabilitation of an injured athlete can help in achieving successful peak performance. Well, that's all from us. Thank you.